What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'll we'll be taking a look at Peyton Manning with these throwback film sessions. So, um, now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any film of him as a cult on Game Pass, so we're just going to have to make do. Um, so, whatever. Uh, we're going to be looking at him as a Denver Bronco, but anyway, let's just go ahead and go. Right. Come on now. He's <laughs> doing the same thing like against Tony. Uh he kinda stared his receiver down there. Looked a little ridiculous chasing him down too, and it won't let me skip it. Mm. Fantastic throw. Well, this this should be a good angle. It was right up the middle. Good footwork. Fantastic throw. kind of let Eric Decker get some yak. I can appreciate that. A little screen. Nothing super crazy to break down from Peyton there, but I see something. Man coverage. Probably what he's saying. Um, before the throw, let's go ahead and slow that down. So, right off the bat, um, nah, not, not there. When he first gets this ball, he was kind of looking toward the left side here. This is basically just to look off the defenders. Um, I mentioned before in his uh, pick six earlier that he kind of stared his receiver down. Um, this is what happens when you don't do that. And then just throws a beautiful high throw to let just Demarius Thomas. That wasn't Demarius Thomas. Um can't remember who that is. I want to say Stokely, but I don't I think he wore 14 for the Denver, but I can't remember what years he played there. Whatever. Um, heavy set here. Not bad from Peyton, uh, throwing that on the move. Little bootleg. Definitely not the most athletic quarterback ever, but he made it work. He's actually pretty good at the bootleg, actually. Especially for his non-athleticism, I guess. Um... Oh, that was a really good one there. Um, he threw that ball nice and low to where the uh, defender had no chance at catching that ball. The only way that that ball gets caught is if Eric Decker ends up with a touchdown. The, the worst case scenario is that's just an incomplete pass. So, really good throw. That was a strike. 
Man, I won't ever say that he had like one of the best arms in league history, but don't sleep on the arm that he had either. And by the way, but um, when I say that, I mean like his arms not up there with like your Marinos, your Elways. Now his mental processing and his preparation—that's a whole other other story. Same with Tom Brady. That's beautiful. Got it just perfectly in the exact hole that he needed to get it through. He had to get it over this guy's head. He had to squeeze it past this defender and not quite let it get to this defender. That was perfect ball placement. Do that on the move. Kind of like before. Like I said, Denver quite liked to do a lot of these types of things. Especially when Peyton first got there because their offensive line needed some improvement. So getting him on the move a little bit. And um, the good thing about those types of plays too is it kind of can bring down the opponent's aggression levels a little bit. Because they can't just run straight through and run down the middle of people if your quarterback's going to be moving. They actually got to rush with a plan. That's a little pump fake. Definitely made this dude jump. That's to be a better angle of it. <laughs> he was late with that, too. Um, okay. Nice high arc and throw. Got it right over the defender's head. Really good ball placement there. That's a really good spiral for Peyton. Peyton was a great quarterback, and that is Stokely. Um, I was right earlier. I don't know why I was second-guessing myself there, but I really was. I mean, how many white receivers number, were a number 14 for Denver? But it's been so long. <laughs> My memory is terrible. But yeah, like I was saying, um, Peyton Manning is amazing, but throwing tight spirals was not his thing, usually. <laughs> looks like it usually looked like he shot a duck out of the air. Did that? I think I remember this play. Yeah, I need, I need to see it from this angle. And also slowed down. Good form. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Came off uh, Eric Decker's hand, who was in triple coverage. Not the best decision as far as a throw goes, but it kind of works out because it comes off his hand and falls in the tight end's lap. I forgot about him. I forgot how you pronounce his name. Is it Dreesen? Dreesen? I can't remember. It's been so long, man. I look at these guys. I'm not exactly a Broncos fan either. That was beautiful. Got that just past the DB and perfectly toward the sideline. Daniel Thomas could get his feet inbounds. That's perfect ball placement, like I've been saying. That was always Peyton's strength. One of.
Okay, it's just, it's just a screen. I'm not really interested in that one. Steelers. Okay. Like I said, they they really did like those bootlegs um, back then. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Um, yeah, if you like this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.